What's up YouTube, it's your boy Michael, and in this video, we're gonna talk about AI agents. Now, before we get into the deep dive about what an AI agent is and how you can build one, I just wanna give you a simple definition. AI agents are entities designed to perceive their environment and take actions in order to achieve specific goals. We're living in the age of AI. Everyone's talking about AI this, AI that. And I kind of want to make this video, especially for my fellow web developers, this is a time to start learning and focusing and testing out building different AI agents. And I'm going to give you a breakdown of what these are and how these work so you can go start doing your research and build these applications. Because I truly believe as a web developer, someone who can build uh, user interfaces, products that people can use, being able to build an AI agent for a specific uh, problem or niche or niche, however you want to pronounce it, will be very beneficial to your career. Whether you're an indie hacker or you're working a job, it's just one of those things where you need to start building this skill. And I'm working on it myself. But one thing I've started to understand is this is an AI agent in its simplest form. You have an LLM, which acts like the brain of the agent, you have tools, these can be functions that do a specific task or APIs that allow it to do a specific task. And then you have memory, the data source, basically uh, the information where the LLM can store uh, the actions it's done or knowledge that it can extract from in order to do set tasks, right? So this is an agent in its very simplest form. You have the NL LLM that does the reasoning, the thinking, tools which the LLM has access to to, have, to you know do specific tasks and memory which you know it can be used to train on like this can be um, company information um, knowledge source or even actions previous actions it's done before um, and any action it does now you store it in the memory right so this is an agent but where it gets interesting is when you combine these agents to do specific tasks. Now, here's a, a, a simple idea, I guess. Let's say you have a couple agents that are um, designed to build a product. So what you would do is you would create a manager agent. This agent would be in charge of managing or instructing all the different agents. And then you have one specific agent in charge for planning, one specific agent in charge for programming, one specific agent for quality assurance, one specific agent to review, and then the reviewer sends all this information to the manager, and the manager decides whether the project is done or not. The reason why I want to, to show you this is a lot of people, when they use ChatGBT or Gemini, they like to just dump all the information in one prompt and one go. But there's actually a guide, let me close this, that I, I'm going to link in the description called promptingguide.ai. And this basically gives you different techniques on how to prompt um, different AI models. I used to think prompting was just like, prompt engineering was just a fad, but really there's, there's thought behind it, right? A lot of people do the standard prompting where they just dump all the information all in one go, but there's different ways that you can prompt that can get better outcomes. And building agents is one of those things where you are maximizing on the LLM's potential versus telling one LLM, build this, you assign, you build different agents for specific tasks. For example, the planner agent maybe has access to knowledge resources on the best frameworks on how to plan for a project, right? And then the programmer has access to let's say, uh, different repositories that it can model um, um, the code off of, or different, let's say you wanted to build a Next.js app, it has access to the Next.js docs, right? And then same thing with quality assurance and reviewer. So understand that there's some considerations you have to take uh, when building a proper agent. The first one is giving the agent access to the right tools. And the second one is describing the tools in a way that is most helpful to the agent. Right. And one of the libraries that I've been diving into to create um, agents, AI agents is Langchain and Langchain makes it super easy. I'm just going to breeze through the docs. Look how easy they make it. Right. First, you define the tools, right? They have already pre-configured tools that you can use or integrations um, that you can use. Uh, Tavily is one where you can use it to search the Internet. So you define your tool. 
then you define a retriever, basically the data source or the documents you want to retrieve information from. Then you create your agent, right? You uh, pick whatever LLM you want to choose, and then you prompt it saying, this is the type of agent you are, right? And then you run the agent. And then it, this is the output you get from the agent. Then you add memory. Like, again, they've made it so simple, right? It, like it's it's a pretty difficult thing to do without a library uh, like Landchain, without a tool like Landchain, but they make it super easy for someone who's a web developer who can build nice, clean user interfaces to develop an AI agent. So my the purpose of this video today is to get you guys to think, to research about AI agents. I'm going to link this video down in the description by Andrew of a great video. It's like 13 minutes, a great talk. I follow the guy on YouTube. He even has some courses. Definitely um, encourage you to check it out. But I do think we're entering the age of AI. And this is a time as a web developer, you should be researching, building side projects, thinking of um, tools or niches, problems that you can solve in different niches or niches. I don't know how the correct pronunciation is. But I, I'm not so focused on comp competing with the chat GBTs or the Google Gemini's, but they're creating these powerful LLMs that with the right tools and the right data set, you can create a fantastic product application, whatever it is that you want to build. So this is my encouragement to my fellow web developers. Do not miss out on this AI wave. Learn how to build AI agents. Think about uh, different problems you can solve and combining different AI agents to build or solve problems. Because uh, that's what I'll be doing. I'll be creating content around this sphere, building projects and products. Uh, and I hope you're subscribed so you can keep up to date with all the stuff I have planned. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of this style of video and what you think about some. Uh, what do you think about me creating some AI content? That's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.